Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. This main house call. Qua, this is your call for snowflakes, please. Qua, this is your call for snowflakes. Thank you. Good morning, guys. It's day eight of Vlogmas. I've already been at work for about two hours. Started at 10 o'clock. So tired. Literally, one of my colleagues, Philip, um, saw me. I didn't even tell him I was tired or anything. He was just like, you look very tired. Which is bad because clearly it shows on my face. Just finished work now. I'm off home now. Just to have like a quick rest and change. And then I'm off to meet Ellie. And we're probably going to try and see a show. Maybe we could more or something like that. Which is very exciting. Um, I'm really tired. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you actually like how um, understandable I was. But yeah, one of my colleagues like looked at me this morning. And she was, he was like, Sam, you look, you look very tired. And <laughs> I was like, I am. I am. So... I might be able to sleep for an hour or something, that might make me refreshed a bit. But I really need to sleep like properly tonight because in the past like two nights I probably only had about four hours combined, four hours of sleep. That's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, I'll speak to you later. So it's a bit later now, um, it's actually about 5.35 in the afternoon now. Um, I had a, like one hour nap which was good, I feel slightly better now, although I definitely still need some sleep. Um, Anyway, I'm about to meet my friend uh, Ellie, Ellie Stedman, you probably all know her from YouTube, she's awesome. But she's running late because of stupid public transport in London. It can be so unreliable sometimes, like as much as it's great because like it gets you to places normally, but when it doesn't work it's just like, how cute is that by the way? Christmasy, anyway. So, um, that's the little theatre just behind me, I don't know if you can see it or not. I just went and got her some tickets to Jersey Boys instead because we didn't get there in time for, um, obviously Ellie has, isn't even here yet and even I didn't make it in time for um, the Mormon Lottery so we still want to see a show and I haven't seen Jersey, Jersey Boys in a very very long time like in maybe two years even and Ellie said she likes it so we thought why, why not go and see that? I am now walking in probably the most famous theatre street in London Shaftesbury Avenue of course um, making my way back to Leicester Square because that's where I'm meeting Ellie um, look there's like Thriller here, The Curious Incident of the Lugger Night Time. What's that show over there actually? I don't know. Oh, the play that goes wrong has moved here, I think. Maybe? No. No, it's something else. Uh, Showstoppers used to be at that theatre, I think. And obviously Les Mis is there as well. And um, if you keep going, at the end of this road, we'll get to the Palace Theatre. And uh, after, yeah. after that, you get to Prince Edward Theatre and Miss Diagon, which is where I used to work at last year. Also, I don't know if you can hear me or not, like, because it's very, very noisy. It's like London at its busiest time, really. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of the lights in the theatres and stuff because I know. A lot of people who watch my videos are theatre fans like myself. Um, yeah, I love London. Guys, I'm still walking on Shaftesbury Avenue and I just thought I'd have to show you this because look at the flags. They're advertising Jersey Boys. And that's the show we're seeing tonight. So yeah, I just thought it was funny. Anybody remember this guy from The X Factor about maybe two or three years ago? He's got an album out. And I don't know when it's out, but it's out. And I did not know that. I thought nobody cared about him anymore. So guys, I'm currently on Old Compton Street, um, which is the street on which uh, the Prince Edward Theatre is located on. Um, and I just have so many memories here, like, sometimes I feel like I need to just kind of, like, I, it's been a long time since I've actually just stood here and like looked around and realised that I literally have memories everywhere around here. Because I used to work at the Prince Edward for about maybe nine months, I think. Yeah, I was there for nine months, oh, yeah, which is quite a long time. Um, one of the longest I've ever spent at a job, really. And, um, Obviously we'd come around for food and stuff after bath to work or between shows. It's like this wasabi I've been to so many times. Um, there's a restaurant called Tuk Tuk which I really like. We just went past really, really good if you like Chinese food. Um, yeah, just everything here is just very um, quite nostalgic even though it was only a year ago. But it still makes you feel a bit weird, I don't know. This little corner shop over here called Dodo is where I used to get my coffee drink things every day pretty much um, after work or in between shows, normally being between two shows, if it was like a long day with two shows, double show day, I'd come here and get my drink. And the guy who works there um, knows me, like about maybe three weeks ago I went in there, I was meeting up with a friend who still worked in the Princess Theatre and um, whilst I was waiting for her to finish her work, her job, I decided to pop in there and the guy like, was like, oh my god, this has been a long time, how are you? And it was just really nice. Because um, I left the Quintana Theatre in like March and it had been quite a few months since like, I, I don't know, it's been, it had been probably like about six, seven months, eight months even since I um, visited this shop and he still remembered me and he asked about like my new job and stuff and it was just really nice that people care about you. This is my drink of choice, I might even get two of them just because it's going to help me wake up as well as making me happy because it's a really nice tasting drink. 
Hello, old home. Finally joined by. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> It's I don't get public transport. No, I'm not the best timekeeping anyway, but this no. just takes a biscuit. And I was just sitting on the train like this out of my control. Yeah, exactly. I'm so, so mad. You hide your little anger moment from inside that <laughs> way. And it's all good. And also, how festive does this look? Really cute. Do you want to have a look there or do you want to eat? Okay. Is there a premiere eat. going on no, there? Yeah, the Eddie Redmayne, you know, the one where he's the man, woman, man. Yeah. <laughs> not transgender. Not being politically correct. The, <laughs> the, the, the Danish girl, okay. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, okay. Well done. Um, yeah. Maybe we can go through. We probably have to go through here to get. Where do you want to eat? Where do you want to go? Okay. okay. Um, so we're going to eat now. But it's exciting times. I'm very happy. Oh my god, the massive Olaf. Oh, look at them. There's a Winnie the Is that meant to be Winnie the Pooh? It's definitely not Winnie the Pooh. Keep calm and win me. Oh, okay. There you go. For that. <laughs> yeah. This is all so cute. Yeah, do you like me? Should we go on it? Oh, the carousel. You meant that. Oh, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Oh, the second the so much money. Is it five quid? Five and that's seven pounds. I don't know. I think probably. Oh, okay. Probably, probably, probably less. Like there's a Christmas cracker. Not Christmas cracker. What's that? Not cracker guy over there. A soldier. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Well, there's we a wagon. Wagon yeah. mothers. Can do. We can go to Byron. Like we can go to. Um, yeah. Akuna Matata. They've opened one here. Green Matata? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, like the one in Paris. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Can I? You, am I allowed? You're so bad, you're such a bad influence. Um, so we just oh, saw Eddie, so we well, actually can see Eddie Redman over there, kind of. Um, he should have come in his costume. I know, right? <laughs> that would have been brilliant. Oh, so As if he's like so like, close to us, or we just can't like see him from the Right now, at this precise moment in time, signing autographs. I really want to see that film actually. I love that we're both vlogging because I don't need to explain. <laughs> oh, is my voice going to be on that? Know, yeah, I know. This is the, these are the things about this is the good things about having vloggers, vloggers friends. Find him. Ask him to marry. Is he married? Ooh, no, I didn't see it. He is. But he is. I loved him in Le Bits. I loved him in Le Bits. Everything. Look at the emoji signs there. Okay, I'm going to need to stop vlogging. Otherwise, this vlog's going to be really long. But I love all these minions here. We've literally just gone through Christmas and oh, we're leaving Christmas now. Oh my god, how, how random. We're, we're actually seeing Eddie Redmayne in the flesh. This is so cool. Like, he's over there, guys. I don't know if you can see him or not. This is amazing. Yo, do you want to just... We, if we stay here, he might even come here and sign autographs for us, except we haven't got anything to sign, so he have, he's going to have to sign like our face or something. I don't know. <laughs> I got told off. I was going to go and stand there, and then they were like, no, you can't stand here. It makes sense, otherwise, yeah, why would it be? No, oh, yeah, for, for something as big as like Eddie Redmayne, who's an Oscar winning actor. Yeah. I don't really know much about that. Neither do I. But yeah, I do want to see it. Have you seen Big Dinosaur yet? Yes! Is it good? Uh, it's good. Oh. But I didn't love Inside Out, controversially. Ooh, yeah, I remember you told me that actually. I um, hyped up Inside Out a bit too much. So would you say um, the Good Dinosaur is slightly better? Or? I don't know. I kind of felt like it was like a dinosaur version of Lion King and Nemo all coming together. That's what someone else said. They said it's kind of similar to Big, uh, Big Brother. No, Brother Bear. Okay. Visually, it's actually beautiful. Like, okay. Okay. It's so lovely. And it looks like it's real. Like, obviously, apart from dinosaurs. Yeah. The rest of it looks like they've actually just filmed. Real life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a uh, um, Ellie's review, review of yeah, big Are you dinosaur. Sure to see it? I'm pretty sure we just walked past Wagamama's if we wanted Wagamama's, yeah. or you want something else, we can do that as well. Okay, let's do that. I feel like this is gonna become a tradition now because last time we went up, we did the same, didn't we? We can go in. <laughs> <laughs> so, my camera has eaten a bit of chicken katsu curry at the moment, you probably can't even see it, but uh, disgusting. Anyway, our chicken katsu curry that have arrived. Very good, both the same. Very uh, typical standard, one most good, both of us. Very exciting, very good, I like it. Yeah, I'm excited to eat because I haven't eaten since like 11 o'clock and I had this new standard. That's terrible, Ellie. Can that's terrible. You need to eat. You should probably eat now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our sides have finally arrived. This is really, really nice. And yours is what, like, like something. <laughs> 
So we just come out of uh, rather than I've got to tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so one awkward. Of my year. You know what it's like when you go to bike clubbers and like you all sit on the benches and you kind of ignore each other and you hope for the best. Um, Sam decides to drink someone else's drink. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. I literally thought there was a guy who up someone's drink. Like, no, I know it was. A, it was so. It's actually probably one of the most awkward things I've ever done. Really? I was just watching her like. They kind of looked at me like, what the hell? And I was like, because <laughs> he, he was having spice and it looked like water to me. And I was having water, so I just assumed it was mine. And the guy looked at me like this weird look, and I was like, um. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Then I couldn't really escape because he was sat next to me, so I just had to like endure the rest. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, good food, really good food. And now it's time for sharing. Oh, that's what I'm sharing. Really, well done. Um, as you know, you probably don't know. Ellie's a very good performing arts person. <laughs> Some of her Snapchats are every now and again. Cherry baby. Uh, actually, I why don't you come on tonight? Exactly, why would we see it? We could just pull I know, I'm a bit late for my hair and makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how pretty are the lights here? The Christmas lights here in Piccadilly. So cute. Guys, we made it to the theatre. Jersey boys, just in front of us. Looking awesome. I'm actually really excited now. Look at the door there. New stewards. Oh, I know, I know. That used to be me. Still is. <laughs> Not here then. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't seen Jersey Boys in a while, like a couple of years or something like that. So yeah, I'm excited. We've got about 10 minutes before the show starts, which we'll probably go in soon. Yeah, that's a good idea. I had like, I drank a whole bucket of water, so I had one time earlier. Safety first. Thank you. Safety first, guys. <laughs> you live it's not good if you have like social anxiety. Oh like, no, I don't know. Make eye contact. Look how close we are to the stage, guys. It's like when I, did you watch? If you, no, you won't see the exit. Happened, but there's a bit in one of my Disney World vlogs exclusive <laughs> where we go to the Hoopty Doo, which is a stage show, and this is how close we are. Oh really? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi.
he wasn't understood yet, I think, Rob Gordio and then Tommy, obviously, John Gordon. Good cast, really good show. Um, yeah, let's go out. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it so much. Um, it was just such a good show. The music makes it, and I think, it would, would, you know, any cast I've seen ever has been good. It doesn't really matter, but I mean, tonight's cast is amazing. It just makes you, it makes you happy, especially at the end. <laughs> Before and I'm the same, I know. I just love being in theatre, it makes me so happy, and it's such a good show. It puts you in a good mood. Yeah. Even the music as well, even though I did cry a little bit as well. I didn't cry this time. Well done. I knew what was happening the first happen. time because I didn't know the story. Yeah. I cried. My dad cried as well. It was sad. Yeah. Come on. Right, guys, I am home uh, from a very, very good evening um, out to see Jersey Boys, as you saw. Um, yeah, just thought I'd finish the vlog and obviously I'm going to be opening my advent calendar in a second. But yeah, I just wanted to say a few more words about Jersey Boys. It's a good show. Um, it's one of those shows that's obviously been in London for quite a while and I've seen it quite a few times. But I hadn't seen it. Like, I think the last time I saw Jersey Boys, when it was, it was definitely when it was at the Prince Edward Theatre. But I think my last time like watching it was when John Lee was playing Frankie Valley. So it must have been like early 2012, I think, or something. There's a vlog of it actually on my YouTube channel. So anyway, um, it's good. Really, really good. Um, you know, great to see Ellie as well. Lots of lols. Um, I'll leave her link down below because she vlogged there as well. So you should check her out. You know, she's awesome. And yeah, I'm just like... Tomorrow I don't have to get up until like 11 I think, so I'm going to be able to sleep a bit, which is going to be nice. Um, and also, I just love this top, not top, this jumper thing, it's actually my first time wearing it, so it's quite new. Um, I might wear it to Disneyland Paris next week because I'm going to be there this time next week, which is crazy. Well actually no, I'm going to be on my way back. Well that's sad, <laughs> we're only going for like one night. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Where are you day nine? Day nine, oh, oh that's there she is. There she is. Day nine. And what have we got here? Oh, is it like a fire thing? You can't even see it. I'm filming the wrong thing. I don't know what it is. Some of these things are very confusing, but yeah, it looks like a like a fire thing. So guys, I've just made this and um, I've got a couple of extra bits here. Like I've got another bit of fiery thing that obviously just won't fit in. So I've come to the conclusion that they seem to just put like extra stuff in there sometimes just in case people lose them, I guess, because I've also got this red thing here which I don't need, like, I've already put my red stuff on here, um, as the picture shows, so I guess, I guess that's why they give extra stuff, I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, that's the end of uh, my Vlogmas Day 8. If you've been watching my Vlogmas videos, thank you so much. It's been pretty fun making them, although not so much fun editing them every single night, because it's just, like, some nights I come home and all I want to do is just sleep, <laughs> funnily enough, or, like, watch YouTube videos, just, like, chill, and instead I have to, like, edit videos every single night. <laughs> So that's not been the most fun part, but apart from that, I'm just enjoying filming stuff and looking back, you know, watching them back. I haven't actually watched them back now already because it's only been eight days, but it's just been fun filming stuff and, you know, preserving them in memory form, in video form for the future, for like years to come. So, yeah, we're not even halfway through yet, but it's still like crazy how it's like gone so quickly. Tomorrow's the ninth. We're going to be in double dig digits soon, which is blows my mind. Um, before we know it, it's going to be 2016 and it's going to be a whole new year. A whole new world! Right guys, um, thank you for watching today. Leave comments down below, likes, whatever, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!